It's a, a painting that uh, speaks about my own personal history, my relationship with my mother. Uh, it, it involves um, a collective history as well because there's a historical part to it. If you know, you probably can see quite clearly the spoons that are burning on the bed. And so there's fire all around the spoons. The spoons aren't actually burning. And if you look closely that in that satin box, there's a date. It says 1930. So it actually gives a documentary fact about my mother's history. So it speaks about um, her experience in the Second World War. She had to leave uh, Germany um, to go to Trinidad. She, she had gotten married uh, just before uh, she went to Germany. I'm sorry, went to Trinidad. And before she left, uh, she wasn't really allowed to take very much. Her and my father had to leave everything behind pretty much. But her mother had these spoons that are in that box that you see. The point of the spoons is that it's, it's an object uh, that has a lot of resonance uh, for me. Like it was always around me and I could see all these stories around it that my mother told me. So it energizes the whole painting. So the other things in the painting it's, uh, there's a, a little bag with a, a Jewish star on it, and there are religious articles in that bag. Now, my parents were not uh, religious really a lot, but this is something they brought with them from Europe. So again, it's another metaphor, another object that has a lot of resonance and uh, speaks to more of a collective history uh, rather than just personal history. So again, there's another aspect. There's the psychology of the relationship of myself to my mother. So I have my mother and myself in the same bed. So we often speak of, oh, they're in bed together. So there's a kind of association, which is an interconnectedness, but it could also indicate certain difficulty when you say they're in bed together or something not completely you know, easy. Mm -hmm. So that's another aspect. Uh, the painting is pretty much black and white with elements of color, which gives it a sort of strong uh, formal quality. And there's a picture of me in the background as a child in Trinidad. So the whole thing comes together in a kind of circle of being, you know, in a sense.